All right, we're gonna we're we're gonna go. It's time. This is Shot Show 2022. I've been informed, right? <laughs> it's Shot Show 2022. Welcome in. We are live. Okay, we're live across our Facebook and YouTube channels, and this uh, is a good one to start off because it's Brownells. Ryan Rep, how you doing? Fantastic. Good to be here. Good talk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, is that it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, and we're done. Hey, well, that was Easy. shot too. Perfect. No, uh, this uh, Gun Talk, Guns and Gear Live, it's Guns and Gear Live this year, uh, is brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. Thank you for your support. And our booth has been expanded. I don't know if a lot of people will see this coming across the boards, but we're actually in a Beretta booth. Like, so Beretta is not here at the show, but they have actually, uh, it, they let us have their booth. And... How is the show looking so far for you? You know, so my my, my first gauge is range day. Range day yep. was very busy yesterday, actually. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been out there, so yeah. hopefully my information is somewhat up to date. <laughs> but but we had uh, we had a, we had great crowds at range yeah. day. So um, I found it I found it a little light, um, but I was there early. Like we yeah. were one of the first people in the it door. Was there, it was light very early. It was yeah. very very light early. Yeah. Um, you know they let the buyers in at twelve thirty. I think it picked up significantly. Yeah. yeah. And. Well, when you have new stuff to show, it's always nice to, to be able to go out, be able to shoot it. And you know what? You guys brought out a new optic, which I wasn't aware of. Right. Um, I didn't know this came out, but it's the – I guess it's a different – it's not the newest new, but it's like a new reticle. Yeah, well, right, right, right. So, yeah, so we, we can dive into the the optic. Um, obviously, Brownells has been in optics for – you know, a couple of years, right? So we've had some long range options. Uh, we've had some some medium range mm -hmm. options, uh, and, and the, the, what we're really trying to attack with our line of optics is is where is where great price meets great quality, yeah. right? So not gonna lie, we're not gonna be up in the Suaro area, right? right? And we're not gonna be down in lower end optics. It's gonna be where price and and and, and quality meet. So uh, the one to six is kind of our, our first uh, first effort. Um, and actually, I think that we, the, on this one we have the one to eight. Yeah, but, um, I just yeah, I just looked down. And I was so like, the one oh my one. gosh, the but, one to eight. But that's I okay. Love that. So I we, love the one to eight. Too. Our new one was our new one is actually the one, one to six. six. Yeah, yep. and and that's called the donut reticle. Uh, the, the, <laughs> we're calling it the MPO donut, the match precision optic donut. Um, <laughs> and uh, okay, so we had a chance to shoot it yesterday, yeah. and when you said donut, because I hadn't seen it yet, right? Ryan gets up, he shoots it, and I'm like. What he goes, I like that, and I was like, "What?" I mean, it's a one to six. Right. He's like, "What do you like about it?" He's like, "One, the glass is super clear." Right. Um, two, it was the donut. Yeah. And if you look through this, it looks like a donut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's it, it's a it's a very different reticle. Yeah. Yeah, it is a very different reticle. It's quick and it's great for quick target acquisition. Right. And I think Brian maybe even said it. And I had this comment from about four other people mm -hmm. yesterday who who said it's it's odd because it's. It's great for like that for like that close in exactly right. what it's meant for, right? Yep. So it, you're not focused so much on the site, right? But it gets you on it quickly, yeah. And that's what that's what people talked about with the donut. Well, because it has a small outer ring or a outer ring, right? And then it has an inner ring, and then there's no dot in the circle. There's no don donut hole in the circle, right? Um, but that's what drew my eye to it first was the larger circle. Then you can kind of fine tune it. We were hitting targets out to 100. You know, 150 yeah. yards, yeah. and it's really easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were well, we, when we sighted it in, and, and uh, frankly, when I went out there, you know, I work at Brown House, so I never sight my own guns in. I throw them together. Whoa. I take it somebody. Hold and somebody's on. Like, hey, we got it. We, Wait we'll take a second. It. You don't want to like go throwing accusations out like that. No, no. It was dialed in. I know. So I did it, and <laughs> yeah. so I was like, hey, it's actually hitting something. The marketing guy did it, uh, not one of the techs <laughs> did it, and uh, it was hitting something, but. Yeah, I mean, we were knocking. You, we were knocking what a probably a three inch pie plate at one hundred and fifty. Yeah. No problem. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. Well, and, and to, to, to be able to make those transition, a dot, your eye is going to follow it. But with this donut, I mean, it's it like encompasses your eye, so it's like directly in your line sight all the way down, right. which is what I love because you can transition from those far targets down the quick like quick access targets near you, mm -hmm. super easy. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. It was. It was. I think a lot of people, when we were kind of talking to them about it, were like, yeah, all right, all right, I'll well, try it. I, if you would have told me, yeah, I guess that's the thing, because I think a lot of people, um, especially those, because SHOT Show is not a consumer show, so this right. is industry insider stuff, but I think a lot of people hearing this, they're going to go, 
I don't know if that would really work. But it's one of those that you – I'd rather almost not hear about it and then yep. just use it. Yep. And yep. I think that's what's going to happen to a lot of people. Well, to your point, it, it, what, what I love about Range Day is the fact that it is industry to some degree. Right. Everybody here has seen everything a thousand times. Oh, right? yeah. So not exactly an easy crowd to impress. That's right? That's a good so, point. So when people leave and they're like, all right, that was pretty cool, then I think you know you have something yeah. cool, right? Yeah. And that's how I kind of gauge – the response to things. So I have a question. Yeah. So I understand the name behind the donut, but who designed this? Like, w so, what was the design process like? Yeah, so we have a, a bit of an optics savant uh, who works for us, mm -hmm. um, and who's our, our optics category manager. Um, so he not only oversees the, the buying for all the optics right. that we do, but he oversees our house program, too. Okay. Uh, and so I think sometimes he's kind of able to say, all right, I see what's going on out there in the world. I see what all the other companies are doing. Right. But I see a gap, right? Okay. And so we're going to do this on our own as a gap. But again, huh. we're not going to we're not going to try to directly compete with the folks, you know, we cuz we sell Vortex. Right. So we sell Loophole. Right. We sell, you know, all the all the other ones. So we kind of make sure that we're not really stepping on any of their games. So we're not stepping yeah. on their games and we're also not trying to necessarily compete with them in right. price. So we kind of fill the gap. Yeah, I and okay, you've got to tell people the price about it because I think we're talking about it. Yeah. And this is a optic that I would put on any of my guns. I right. mean, I've got everything from Radians to Aero Precisions to Brownells. Like you could put this on any of them right. and have great glass. Yeah, that's that's just it. So, you know, the the one to six, it's it's got all the normal, usual suspects for features, yep. and benefits, and the way it works, all that sort of thing. Thirty millimeter tube. But the big selling proposition with that one, frankly, yeah. is it's four thirty nine ninety nine retail, and and there's the big and you get Japanese glass, um, and that's a massive hole at that price. Point. Right, because that's the that's the talk. But I I do have to ask because I ask everybody, mm -hmm. what's the deal with Japanese glass? Uh, you know what? It's funny. I don't have a direct answer to that, Kevin. <laughs> I'm, but this you know is why I'm putting you on but the you, spot. But you know what's funny? So I used to work for a, co a different company in the industry. Right. That was an optics company, in, uh, a well-known optics mm -hmm. company in the industry. And it was always the big deal that, that our stuff is made in Japan. Uh, that was it. But I can't tell you exactly the reason of what that they, is. Maybe like they pour a little sake in the uh, uh, glass. I, I don't that, that could be. That could be. I mean, it's tempered. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means. All right. Now let's talk guns. Yeah. Because we got a, a, a sexy little beast right here. Mm -hmm. What what do we got? All right, so this is the newest, the, the latest version as of date uh, of the Brunel's BRN 180 line. Of course, for folks who don't remember, Stoner designed the AR-15 yep. and then Stoner designed the AR-18. The AR-18 was a, a bufferless system, right, mm -hmm. a gas piston-driven system. Um, so, uh, you know, you can you can fold up the stock and, and uh, you know, it still fires and all that sort of thing. So uh, this is kind of our latest iteration, but the change on the sport model, which is what we have here, uh, is this straight is this straight profile charging handle. Okay. So uh, obviously we, we were trying to pay homage to the original AR18, right? Right. And and it had kind of this 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 charging handle profile that came out and, and kind of bent back up. Right. And what it was doing was it was tearing the heck out of these uh, these larger. Oh, scope mounts. okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, some, some of the customer feedback was, for, particularly for guys who were mounting, running scope mounts like that, was like, hey, is there something else we can do? So we came out with this, you know, flat pro profile charging handle that, that cycles and, oh, yeah. and, you know, and doesn't, doesn't get, nick up any of your hardware there. Uh, well, then, guys are running candid mounts right, that's and right. everything else. Yep. So it, it makes sense to get a little bit lower profile yep. than what you guys are typically yep. offering. And uh, and just to differentiate it a bit, you know, some people oh, like yeah. some people like the like having an ejection port cover. Some people don't. Uh, yep. And so we just on the, on the sport model, we did a delete on the uh, the, the ejection port cover. So that's kind of what's new uh, with the 180. That's awesome. Okay, but there's something more new coming to the 180. And that's what is it? Can you tell? Well, I can't. I'm happy to tell the Gun Talk audience. All right, this is just for y'all. Yeah. So um, what we have coming out probably. The, the product guys tell me not to be not that I'm not that I'm uh, pessimistic because I'm right. not, but uh, the the the, pro the property uh, the uh, product guys tell me that in the spring this is going to come. Okay, so I'm just going to put oh, windage in it and say it's I like this. It's the it's the summer, but it'll be <laughs> it'll be this in 760 by 39. So we no will, kidding, we will have a beer in 180 in 760 by 39. Um, 
Yeah, we've got pictures of of the kind of the the, the working models right. at the booth. People could take a picture of it, but you won't find it anywhere online quite yet. Really? Yeah. Not yet. Just here. So just start here. stocking up on seven six two by thirty nine. Start stocking up. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, mean, I just got four thousand rounds in. You like did three weeks ago. Yeah. From who? I think I got it from SG. All right, there's your there's your source to go find it. I just yeah. had to give them. I that mean, I'm gonna be honest. Tip. I mean, I, I work yeah. at Brownells, so we get ammo. Yeah. Uh, but I bought it at a time where you know we were out. Yeah. So. And any updates happening with the site or anything like that gonna happen? Yeah. So that's that's the big news. Um, you know, uh, as the marketing guy for Brownells, it's tough for me sometimes to even look at our own site. Uh, you know, that site look, it's been great for for a while. And you know, if you're very experienced with firearms, yeah. if you're a gunsmith, if you're if you're if you're that sort, you know, the PhD level knowledge, you know exactly what you're looking for. The site works perfectly. Yeah. But if you're somebody who's new, somebody who has a little bit less experience, it's a it's it can be off putting. So in Q3, okay, in Q3, at some point, we will launch a a vastly new and extraordinarily improved right. Brunel's. Well, and I think it's like the whole buying experience online. Guys are have adapted themselves to fit that way of life. And, right. and I think offering them that avenue. But I think Brownells does one of the better jobs of it now. But I'm on the website nearly daily. So, so that's the thing, right? You, you kind of know how to navigate right. it. Uh, there's certain things that certainly aren't intuitive about it and all that sort of thing. So the goal is to, is to make it intuitive for a, a much larger base of people. Yeah. Well... All right, there you have it. That's what's new from Brownells. Ryan Rep says go out and get some donuts. Absol right? Absolutely. <laughs> All yep. right, go get your donuts, guys. Check out the 1 to 6 from Brownells, the BRN 180, and the 762 by 39 coming later this year.